So I am doing a short video here in terms of WWE who have released a bunch of talent as of today as well as some producers. Um, just this is in terms of giving them cutbacks as well as I think they're trying to save money during this whole pandemic going on because coronavirus. Um, a bunch of superstars have been released today. Big surprises, honestly. I did not expect them to actually, you know, make the decision to um, release these amount of superstars as well as other talent and producers. But I'm going to run down the list and um, I guess I can try and elaborate a little bit, but I might do separate videos here and there just to talk about um, what I enjoyed from their WWE career. So, the guys who have been released are as follows Drake Maverick former 24-7 champion obviously his you know feuds with R-Truth has just been hilarious and incredible and um, he did put a video on Twitter to reflect as you want to say um, heartbreaking it's, it's really sad to see him go Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder have also been released. I did not really expect this. Zack Ryder's been with the company for about, what, 15 years? You know, with the whole Major Brothers thing. Hawkins was brought back in 2016 and that didn't really go well for him. He went on a huge losing streak and then he was just um, more likeable after the uh, that streak was over. Tag team title run with, with Zack and now they're gone. And it's it's a shame, really. Um, Heath Slater, another one. Um, I haven't really been paying attention as to what he's been doing apart from him losing to Daniel Bryan. That's the last thing that I've ever saw. But um, it's unfortunate to see him go as well. Aiden English, 205 Live commentator. Big surprise there. Eric Hyun, was kind of expecting it. Um, due to the whole Santi thing didn't work on the main roster, it was... It was a bit obvious, really. Um, EC3. Loved his stuff in NXT. And then on the main roster, you know, he was just put on main event and he was just dropping. Very unfortunate. What a bit of a waste of talent, really. Leo Rush. He was expected... I was expecting him to be in that Cruiserweight tournament, which is going to be starting tonight. But um, I did see the rant that you put on Twitter and now he's just been released but I really, really enjoyed his stuff, even though he had a few um, altercations here and there, backstage and the way he was treated, but still very unfortunate. Sarah Logan, I was hoping that WWE would give her some sort of push. Um, she did lose against Shayna Baszler on Monday Night Raw this week. Shame that she's gone. Um, we've got the Shining Stars of Primo and Epico. I was kind of seeing it coming anyway because they've not been used on TV for God knows how long. Um, Gallows and Anderson. This is the big surprise because even though that they were assigned with AJ, AJ's more popular than Gallows and Anderson. But still, it's just... You really can't put it into words as... These number of guys that I just called out, who has just been, you know, released from the company, it's just, it ain't going to be the same. I don't know what's going to happen with AJ now, because, you know, it's just AJ and not Gallows and Anderson. You don't... Mental. Um, Kurt Angle, obviously, Hall of Famer is doing some backstage stuff, so he's been released... As well, Mike Yoda, I did not even realise this, but he's been with the company for about 30 years. Um, I think he started on Survivor Series 89. Um, again, it's it's incredible. And um, he's, he's had a great run with the company for the past 30 years. Incredible stuff. Um, Eric Rowan. We've not seen him on TV since the whole Spider thing, but I would have believe they they could have just repackaged him or something like that but again shame to see him go as well uh we got mike and maria canellis i have no words i haven't really paid attention for what he's done 
on Tour of Five Live or any of that sort, so I can't really say much on Mike Canellis, really. Um, Rusev is another big name. He's uh, He got released. I was hoping that he would return at some point, but um, that's not going to happen now. No Way Jose, who also did a video on Twitter. Never really followed his stuff on the main roster, but I did enjoy his stuff back on NXT. And, um, yeah, I saw his video. Very heartwarming. Um, yeah, it, it's a shame, really. And then the last two, Alexander Jaksik, who I believe was doing live shows on NXT. So he never really made it onto WWE TV. So he's been let go, as well as who also competed on Monday Night Raw. And I think that was against Nia Jax. Um, Diona Perrazzo is another name. So um, that's all the talent that's been released. And then for... Um, let me just get the source here. Producers that have been released. So we've got Fit, fin Fit Finley, Lance Storm, Mike Rotunda, Shane Helms, or Hurricane Helms as you may have known him, Scott Armstrong... Pat Buck, Sarah Stock, Sean Davari, and Billy Kidman. Um, but according to the sources, the producers seem to have been furloughed and not let go from the company entirely. So I guess it's just kind of like a, a break for them and they'll be brought back once this whole pandemic's over. I would believe so. Um, there will be more releases um, after NXT, as from what I've been told. So... We'll just have to see who's going to be released as well. Um, Andrea Listenberger, who is a WWE writer, um, she's been released as well. Um, so yeah, this this is all due to the pandemic and they had to do some cutbacks and release a bunch of talent, which is very, very... It's such a shame. You can't really put to words as to how everyone who's a WWE fan who's watched these guys, especially if they've seen them in live events. i watched a small portion of these guys from the times I've been to WWE. I've been to about five WWE shows. First one being NXT TakeOver London. And um, I've seen a few of these guys wrestle here and there on the shows that I've been to. And at least I've got to watch them for what it is. At least some of them had a, a title run. So wherever they end up in future, I hope... Um, we'll see them down the line, depending where wherever they decide to do next. Um, but yeah, it's you. You really just can't put it into words as to um, as as to all this. It must have been a very difficult decision for WWE. Um, yeah, NXT announced a Jerry Solo. Um, he announced that he's been placed on furlough leave as well, so he will probably be brought back at some point. Um, NXT talent is being provided 30 days of pay and then free to do whatever they want, so this is for guys who I would believe who are being released later on. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of the guys that I just named there, Leo Rush, I, I really enjoy his stuff, even though he had a lot of drama. Um, I do see him live here and there on Instagram, so I would have to uh, catch up with, with his stuff. Um, Drake Maverick, loved the guy to bits. Um, Rowan, I was hoping that they can do more. Sarah Logan, Gavis and Anderson. A lot of the names, it's just, I don't know what's going to happen. Next, especially with the uh, the NXT guys who, which they're going to be releasing after um, after that show ends tonight. But um, if anyone wants me to do a separate video, just me talking about those guys from their WWE run and what I uh, initially thought about their WWE career, I will do that. If anyone wants that, but. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very sad day in the wrestling industry for a lot of the guys. Um, but yeah, um, I do hope whatever they do in future, I hope it's uh, 
hope it goes well for them. But uh, a lot of the people on Twitter are probably raising some eyebrows because they might intentionally go to AE Dub. I don't want to think about that anytime soon because AEW may not be the place for them. They could end up elsewhere. But yeah, um, just watch the Cult Hot Extreme during this when they made all the uh, announcements as well. So they can confirm that. Uh, it's it, it really baffles me. It really does. I just can't really put it to words. It's how I feel. But, uh... It, I mean, you got to put, you got to do that. Whether the decision is very difficult to go through and, um... Yeah. But there we go. Um, just wanted to give a little bit of news. I hope everyone, um... Is watching NXT tonight. I obviously won't be. I'll just watch the highlights on YouTube. As I normally do. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys. Thought this was informative. And uh, I will see you in the next video. See you later guys.